Hello everyone, this is Harsha. Welcome to my channel, Crypto English. So hi guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about base mainnet for builders. So in this video, we'll cover how to bridge uh, tokens to mainnet of base network, and then I'll show you two opportunities to mint the NFTs. One is guaranteed NFT, other is a uh, potential NFT. So everything will be covered in this video. Watch this video till the end. Before starting the video, if you are here for the first time, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, click the like button. If you have any doubts or clarification, leave them in the comments below. And this video like that is 200 likes, so definitely click the like button right away. So let's begin the video, guys. So guys, first thing we already discussed about base testnet during uh, their testnet launch. So recently they have launched mainnet only for the builders. So base uh, for specifically for builders, they are announcing two different NFT collection. One is the uh, Genesis Builder NFT tire for which it is only specifically for the builders. But uh, in case if you are deploying a contract, you can apply for that. In case project selects you, you will be receiving gold tire NFT. So this, this is the first one. So second one is a guaranteed NFT. Anybody can mint it. So which is base uh, for builders. So in this, this, uh, this NFT minting option is also little complex. You cannot directly go and click on mint button and mint it. So it is little tricky. So I'll cover both the things in this video. Let's start with the first one for the gold tie. So let's begin. So first thing we have to go to builder.base.org. So link will be in the description below. So just scroll down, accept the terms and conditions, click on continue, then connect the wallet. After connecting the wallet, click on sign to verify and complete the sign in message. So now you can see these are two requirements to mint or to apply this NFT. So first is a you should hold at least 0.007 Ethereum in your base mainnet. And second is a you need to deploy a contract. So now we'll do one by one. So let's start with the bridging. So first thing right now, it is in the developer uh, or builder phase. So which means there is no official bridge like uh, going to pay uh, connecting wallet and doing. We will be using a proxy. So all you need to do is you just need to copy this proxy contract address and go to your Ethereum mate, uh, Metamask Ethereum mainnet and send Ethereum you want to bridge to this particular contract. So that's all. Once you send that automatically it will bridge to your base mainnet. So two important things you should keep in mind. One is you can only send Ethereum. You should not send any other tokens like USDT or USDC. Those funds will be lost. Second important thing, you should send this Ethereum from Ethereum mainnet only. So if you are sending this from any other uh, network like ZK Sync, Arbitrum or Optimism, you will be losing your funds. So now let's go. And another third important thing I forgot to mention. Right now, as it is in developer phase, you can only bridge tokens from Ethereum to base mainnet, but you cannot do the reverse process, which means once you bridge these tokens to base mainnet, you cannot take them back to Ethereum mainnet as of now. So in future, maybe in August, as per Discord communication in this uh, August, they will be launching base mainnet to public. So that time they will be announcing a bridge. During that time, you can bridge back your tokens from base mainnet to uh, your other uh, Ethereum chain or different chain. So now let's go to the MetaMask, select Ethereum mainnet and you should have some Ethereum. Just click on send. Just copy a page to uh, the proxy address available in this particular page. Then enter the amount you want to send. So you don't send only exact amount which is 0 0.007 because you need to spend some gas fees. So I would recommend you to bridge at least 0 0.01 Ethereum. So to be on safer side, just, just click on next. And now you can see I did this transaction during the Ethereum peak hour. So gas fees were $6.2 from Ethereum. Uh, right now it is only $5. In case if you are doing non-peak hours, you will be spending only $3 to $4. So just scroll down and click on, uh, uh, just scroll down, click on confirm. And once that is done, you will be, uh, your transaction will be initiated. So now go to chain list, just search for base and then add to metamask and add this to your metamask the base is added to metamask now switch the network and go to your metamask and see the balance now so now there is no ethereum arrived after 5 to 10 minutes you can see i have received my ethereum on the base mainnet so now we can go to the base uh, genesis page connect the wallet and sign in again and see if it is reflecting so now you can see one green tick mark is available so now we have to deploy the contract so to de deploy the contract we will be using remix uh, tool so link will be in the description below. On the home page left side you can see contracts. Under contracts you can see uh, storage.soul. This particular contract you need to deploy. So if you deploy any other contract, your gas fees will be little high like 4 or 5 dollars. For this contract it will only cost you uh, 0.4 to 0.5 dollars. So now on the left side you have this compiler icon which is the third icon. Just click on that and click on compile. After that you will get a green tick. Then you can go to the last icon and then click on uh, injected provider on the drop down. And then make sure your MetaMask is in base mainnet. Otherwise, you will be deploying it in a different chain. So just click on deploy. 
confirm the metamask transaction you can see fees is around 0.59 dollars just click on confirm within few seconds your contract will be deployed and you will be able to see your contract address so on the left side deployed contracts you can see your contract address just copy the contract address now we need to verify this contract so verify and publish this contract so link will be in the description below for this page so here you just need to paste your contact address in the first column in the second column you just select as solidity third column you uh, third drop down you can select the version as 18 plus and then last option you will be selecting no license none just click on continue in the next page you need to copy and paste your contract what you have uh, deployed so just come to so, uh, remix page uh, copy this entire code on the left side and then come to this page and paste it in the uh, enter the solidity code so just scroll down complete the capture click on verify and publish and within few seconds your contract will be verified and published successfully so now going to the next step so next step we need to verify the contract or uh, uh, in dune also dune link will be in the description below just click on submit smart contract and then just select the base uh, you need to log in to do this activity then under the contract you just copy the contract from dune uh, remix and paste it click on next and enter the project name you can enter any project name and then click on submit so once that is done our verification and publish on both the uh, things is completed so now you can see submitted so now let's go back to the base uh, genesis page just refresh the page connect the wallet again sign the transaction again and then you can see both the tick marks are available so now you can click on continue here I have to fill a couple of details again go to remix copy your contract address come back here paste the contract address now first thing is did you complete the base scan verification we have done that click on S then did you complete the dune verification we have done that click on S and then you need to give the website address in which it will be published so right now guys as I mentioned that this particular pro, uh, NFT option is only for the builders or developers who are creating any dApp on base mainnet so uh, this URL if you don't have you can mention any of your socials or anything but this doesn't guarantee you any NFT this is only in case if project selects you then next thing is gen, uh, governance and then last one is a uh, just copy the address in which you want to receive the NFT and under the NFT airdrop address you just paste the address and then your project Twitter you can mention your Twitter under uh, choose your socials you can select ENS or GitHub and enter the details and submit that's all we have successfully applied for the gold tire nft for the builder so this doesn't give any guarantee but in case of project selectors we will get this nft now moving on to the second nft so second nft will be the uh, simple one which is a base for builders so i'll show you how to mint that let's go to this particular page in the if you scroll down you'll see a contract address base scan so just click on that under the contract section you have to click on write contract and keep this page there and scroll up on the right side you can see more options on base scan under that you can see tools you can see verified signature right click and open a new tab just leave that uh, uh, page like that and come to this new tab now here you have to sign a message the message should be all your base are be, uh, uh, belong to you dot so this message you need to copy message i'll keep it in the description below just click on sign message in the right side and connect the wallet then uh, your valid address will be populated automatically and then under the message you just paste the content what you copied then just click on sign message complete the sign in transaction and then come down and you will get the hash here just copy the hash and click on publish so once you do that your hash message will be published and scroll down you can see the signature hash here in case if you forgot to copy you can copy it from here so now go to the contract where we left it come down just click on connect valid after that under the mint second option just pay the signature click on write and complete the metamask sign in which is 0.3 dollars after that your nft will be minted successfully so now you can see base uh, base for builders nft is successfully minted for 0.3 dollars you can see now you can go and check your copy of wallet address paste it here and check the wallet uh, balance under erc 720 you can see i got my uh, base nft added so that's all guys that's how you uh, mint and participate in this base uh, uh, mainnet event right now these are the main activities available so based on the community poll on my twitter i posted this video so there is no guarantee of any airdrop or anything but these activities are on main mainnet and we are minting some nfts hope we might get some nfts in the future so now that's all guys that's about today's video if you like this video click the like button if you're new to this channel subscribe to the channel if you have any doubts or clarification leave them in the comments below so that's all guys thanks for watching jai hind